Hey angels, boy do I have a story time for you guys today. A story time. A juicy story time. That's why I love my story times because like I have so many things that has happened in my life that I want to share with you guys. Like so much interesting stuff, sad things, funny things, things that you definitely won't believe but they actually happen. Yeah, those type of things because that's my life. There's so many stories to tell. So guys, yes, you see the title and it says, the time when my uncle broke in my house when I was at home. And it's true. Every word of it is true. So let me tell you, let me let you guys know what this is about. So this happened when I was around 15 years old. So um, what happened was I was home alone. My mother had um, went to take my youngest sister to a doctor's appointment, I think, and I was at home. So before I get into the rest of the story, um, two of my uncles, um, they used to live together. God bless them. They passed away now, but they used to live together. And they were good uncles, they were funny and hilarious and all of that stuff, but they were alcoholics, they loved to drink, and um, sometimes, like, you know, since they drank so much or whatever, they would um, spend their money up on beer, alcohol, whatever, instead of, you know, buying things like food, because I guess that's what... Um, real alcoholics do right you know they spend their most of their money on alcohol right so that's what they used to do so sometimes they didn't even have like you know food to eat so sometimes they would stop by our house and my mama which is their sister she used to fix them food sometimes so that was very sweet of my mom she was a sweet lady at times. But she was very kind hearted. Yeah. So sometimes they'll stop by the house and she would fix them food. Okay, so back to the day when everything happened. I was at home by myself. I was walking around in the house like I was doing my hair. And I can remember after I got finished doing my hair. I went and sit down and I started watching TV. Soon as I like flipped the TV on, probably about a second after flipping on the TV, I heard something like pushing my door in, in the house. So I quickly turned the TV off and I went running to um, my mother's closet in her room. So I went inside the closet and I closed the door. All this time, I hear somebody, like, trying to break in the house, bamming on the door, trying to, you know, push the door open. So, um, I was in the closet, and in her closet, you could have see out the closet. I guess there was, like, a hole somewhere in the closet or whatever. But you could see out the closet, and as soon as you look out the closet, there was a very big mirror in her room. So if anybody come in her room, if you was hiding in the closet, you would be able to see them. They wouldn't see you because it was a small hole, but you would be able to see them. So I was in the closet and at that point I heard someone breaking in the house. And so they came in the house. I just heard, heard them going around in the house and they opened the refrigerator. So I assume, okay, they're looking for food. And I heard something eating on, you know, I heard someone eating on something. So, 
Yeah, it's funny now, but it was scary then. But I heard somebody, you know, eating on some food out the refrigerator. So I was like, okay, in my mind, I was, I was so scared. I was paranoid. My heart was beating. And I was like, maybe they just came to get some food or whatever. Whoever it was, because I didn't know who it was at the time. So I guess they, they was eating the food out the refrigerator. It was just one of my uncles, by the way. And so I guess they was just eating the um, food out the refrigerator. So I'm standing there in a the closet. My heart was beating so fast. And um, I just was in the closet. I didn't say nothing. I didn't move or nothing. And so as they made their way from the kitchen, they started walking through the house. And sound like they were looking for some money on the dresser. So I'm assuming my uncle was looking for some money you know some change so he could buy some alcohol okay he was out of money he didn't want to hurt anybody okay I don't want to give anybody the impression that they ever hurt us because they didn't but he was an alcoholic so he was out of money and he was you know just looking for some change which he shouldn't have broken the house but still and um, so I just heard some change and stuff rattling and everything like that in the other room. So then he made his way to my mother's room. I was in that closet shaking. I didn't know who was in the house. But as he made his way in my mother's room and um, he went up to the dresser. And at that point, I saw who it was out the closet. Because like I said, there was a little hole in the closet. So I could see who it was. And it was my uncle. Of course, I still didn't come out because I was still scared. Because he broke in the house. So I still, you know, stayed there in the closet. I could see him standing in the room. And he started going on my mother's dresser. Looking for money. And looking for change and whatever change and you know pocket change he found like dollar dollar bills or whatever he put it in his pocket so I didn't make a noise I didn't breathe I just stood there and I tried to keep quiet so after he finished getting the change and everything off the dresser he made his way out the room back through the house and um, he went back to the refrigerator, start eating some more food. <laughs> and then after he um, closed the refrigerator, he left out the house and closed the door. Now, I wasn't sure if he was out, out the house, so I didn't want to come out the closet right then when I heard the door slam. So I stood in the closet maybe another... 15 minutes before I knew he was out the house for sure. After those 15 minutes, I came out the closet, came through the house, and yeah, he had left the house. So, yep, mm hmm. That's what happened. I was scared out of my mind though. But, um, when my mother got home, I just, you know, I told her everything that happened and I don't remember, you know, what she said to them, but I know for a fact that she confronted him and she was upset about the situation, you know, but yeah, that's what he did. Um, he broke in the house and I happened to be home at that time. I guess that when he broke in the house, you know, he didn't see a car in the yard he didn't hear anything so he assumed nobody was home he wanted to come in eat some dinner because <laughs> as i said before he and my other uncle was they were alcoholics they weren't bad people but they just had a drinking problem so he um was looking for some food to eat because he was out of money, which was the wrong thing to do, but that's what he did. He broke in our house. 
He came and ate dinner out the refrigerator. <laughs> Made his way around to my mother's bedroom. Well, he went to um, another one of the rooms in the house first and, you know, took some change and some money, whatever. Made his way around to my mother's bedroom last where I was at in the closet and took some more change and dollar bills off my mother's dresser into his pocket. So that's what he was looking for. He was alcoholic. He was looking for some food and he was looking for some money. And just so happened, I was in the house that day. And I was scared of, out of my mind. So yeah, guys, that's what happened the time when my uncle broke in the house when I was at home. Thank you so much, guys, for listening to this story time. I appreciate you guys for watching. And if you have not subscribed, make sure to subscribe because there are so much more juicy stories to tell. Just make sure you subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you so much, guys. See you the next time.